And now at 5 o'clock, some Hoosiers are locked out of the state system for unemployment benefits. CBS 4's Jill Glavin explains why and the steps the state is taking to help them. People like me are being ignored. When Melanie Waite yeah. lost her job due to COVID-19, you know. she started getting weekly unemployment benefits. Then in October, she found herself unable to log into the state system called Uplink. I was locked out. I couldn't get in, couldn't do anything. It took two months for the state to let her back into the site. She got this letter saying, your unemployment account has been flagged by our system for suspicious activity. Please answer the below questions and provide the requested documentation. She did that in January. Nothing happened. Three people have told me they expedited to try to get this thing cleared up. And it keeps saying that my social security number is not valid. Jeffrey Double lost his job in December. He hasn't been able to apply for unemployment because the uplink system already received a fraudulent claim under his social security number. Nobody's calling back, nobody's giving me answers. I don't know what's going on. Double recently filed an identity theft complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's office, which reported a huge spike in complaints related to unemployment fraud, including almost 600 complaints this month. I wanted to know what the state is doing to help people like Wade and Double, but the Indiana Department of Workforce Development has declined all of our interview requests since December. In an email, the department pointed me to this state form for people to report fraud and open an investigation. The state also hired a company called ID Me to help verify Hoosier's identities. Wade finally got a call back on Friday, but still no timeline for her benefits, and Double is still waiting on his call. At the end of the day, people are hurting because of the decisions that they're making. So I'm just trying to provide for my family and it's been a struggle. Jill Glavin, CBS 4 News. Jill, thank you. If you need help with unemployment or you believe someone filed a fraudulent claim under your name, we do have more information and a link to that state form. You'll find that information inside this story online at cbs4indy.com.